Do you know, I've, I don't think I've ever had voice envy like how I'm feeling at the moment. Because, you know, you listen to me coming in and out of the songs and you probably think, well, he's he's fairly average. He's trying his best. And then you hear a voice like the man we're about to bring on. Such a rich, incredible voice. It is Mark. Good morning, Mark. Hello. I felt like I had to go, hello, sir. Oh, listen to that. Honestly, it rattles my headphones. Now, <laughs> this fella, you may recognise his voice. He is called Mark Chadwick, and he is our radio station voice. He's the man who does the... No, in, in fact, I won't even try and do it like you do, but could we have um, a little live jingle, Mark? This is Connect Radio. Wow, listen to that. How would you get a voice like that? Um, uh, <laughs> I was going to make up some biomedical story where I was in, inducted into a lab or something. Uh, I, I don't know, mate. I don't know. I think it's just, I've, always, I've always performed and so I've always been conscious of it, maybe. Maybe. It's just maybe. I think I'm always performing. That's the reality. I think I'm always performing. I think maybe the voice, in, maybe my natural voice is more like, I don't, maybe I'm more like this. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be amazing if I introduced you this big, big build-up, and it's like, "Hello, I'm Mark." <laughs> like uh, it was voice. like Ashley from Ever East Enders or whatever it was. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah. have been brilliant. But there is now people. There'll be different types of people hearing this now. There'll be the radio anoraks who are absolutely amazed by this kind of thing to find out who our station voice is and to find out the history of you. But for those who don't know, there is a real difference between what I would call a broadcaster and a station voice. Now, you can probably do both, but normally broadcasters can't do the other bit as well. So, for example, I couldn't do the bit in between the songs. But mm -hmm. you, on the other hand, did you start off as a presenter and then you moved into a voiceover what happened yeah you do the funny bits between the songs though don't you <laughs> that's right god loves a trier and all that they do he does he definitely does um i i started as a presenter um my my father had a radio station in chesterfield and he gave me a job it like what was it, it called the radio station peak 107 we are going to absolutely geek out in a minute because Brilliant. I've got a story about people who used to work there. But anyway, on with oh, your really? story. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah, so he gave me a job. I, I, I got to kind of like the end of school and I, I I got to the point of applying to university. And just the way I am, this sounds mental, and it was mental, but I filled out my UCAS form in a red biro. And so they didn't accept me into uni. And so I said to dad, you know, I'd, I'd always been interested to so kind of get involved. And I got involved at this station and it, and it was a small station. And it's and I say that with with full heart. I love small stations because you can get involved in every part of it, mate. That's the great thing about it. And so I went in, I helped in sales. Eventually I got to pre-record a show um, and then I started doing a little bit of production and advert making and stuff like that. And it, so it was a presenting that came first. And then because I was a producer as well, and I don't want to use a load of terms to alienate your audience, but basically I, I, I used voiceovers and made commercials with them or the branding as you talk about in between the songs. And, uh, and, I, and I absolutely loved it, but I couldn't get the voiceovers sometimes as quick as I wanted them. And so I remember mocking up stuff for my boss and sort of going, why don't we try this? And it would be me. It would just be me. And they were kind of like, I don't think they were bowled over by my voice at the time, but they were bowled over by the fact that they could get me for free. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Which always helps, isn't it? Yeah, Everybody definitely. loves a freebie. And, that, and, and that's how it started, mate. It was about 20, 23 years ago. Um, and, and that's how the voice stuff started on the side. Uh, and my first paid gig was about in, in, in 1998, I think, with the old Galaxy so, brand. You've been doing it a while. And the Galaxy brand, again, I've got to be careful here because I don't want to alienate people. But the Galaxy brand, it was absolutely massive. There was Galaxy radios across the country and you got involved. Were you the station voice there? Yeah, I was. Not Not from the beginning. Um, but I went there as, as I got employed there as head of imaging. Uh, so what is to, to your audience, that's head of 
uh, like audio branding. So everything that says connect radio in between the songs is branding. Well, I did that for uh, uh, this this Galaxy brand. Um, yeah, I, I absolutely loved it. And, and when I was there and head of head of imaging, again, it must be the control freak in me. I used to put myself on stuff on bits and pieces where I couldn't get or I wanted an extra voice or that sort of thing. And then I gave myself a contract. So <laughs> <laughs> now there is there is a way that voiceovers say things. So it, it's all about like how you I guess how you say the certain words, isn't it? Because yeah. if you got a person off the street, they'd say just like I would, uh, connect radio. Connect radio. But yeah. I can't do it without doing a sort of weird impression of you that's very, very bad. <clears throat> How do you yeah. sort of do it? When when do you know to go up on the words and to go down on other words? Yeah, cool. So I was I was I was obsessed with voiceover from a, being a kid, um, and late, it's only later on in my career where I started to actually be able to do the natural stuff well uh, and just use my normal hello, I'm Mark voice. Uh, but 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 my main thing is, as you're talking about is that sort of like affected, more affected, uh, and I always compare that to the way that dudes you know used to do movie trailers and there, there was a styling to the way that you lean on certain words and um i was thought like it was about having a hyper understanding of the word you were saying and then amplifying that word in a way that made sense so if it's, if it's seductive it's meant to sound that do you know what i mean if it's if it's fun it's meant to sound that um and so it's yeah it's i mean it's one of those things where when you're doing it those kind of lines as a voiceover it's it's hard it's more almost more cringy if you're being watched doing them do you know what i mean because it's not natural but when it when the production process has happened and they're on air then yeah it's much better but how did i practice for that thousands of movie trailers just round and round and round in my head for for years and as i imagine we're now having messages through saying uh, could mark say my name please so of course I can. It's brilliant. Say. Yeah, I, I was doing one of these last week. It's kind of like, can you say cauliflower? <laughs> but you, uh, well, in fact, here's the challenge. Random words that Mark could say with his voiceover style. Broccoli. Broccoli. See, I, I can't, but broccoli. Winnie Bago. Why is it you sound professional and I just sound like those weird phone calls that you'd have at 1am in the morning? <laughs> Hello. I, it's funny like i think people always think that to be a voiceover like you have to have the depth but it's like if you if you've got like a a natural like well if you go like this uh, uh where nah uh, don't try and be me oh, okay. don't try and be me uh, right so that's uh, more that's more your natural place where you speak from okay so, go, so you go from that point opposed to dropping so you, <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't need to drop it. You, you sort of get, keep it your natural. Because, yeah, that's me. This, this kind of depth actually has only naturally come in the last five, ten years for me. I must beginning. say, I just had a great idea. How deep can Mark go? How Which deep? is a new feature where you could win an Alexa if <laughs> you can guess at what decibels he can go down with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but genuinely, what we're going to do, we'll play a song, mm -hmm. and if you would like Mark to say your name, you'd like him to say something random, then do get in touch with us right now. Uh, the WhatsApp number is 0161 511 9555. 0161 511 9555. Or if you want me to do my uh, my sort of dirty phone call voice, uh, then mm -hmm. I can also do that as well, <laughs> if you would prefer. I can do all things like Sunday roast. There's, a, there's a market radio. for all these voices, mate. There is. Absolutely. Welcome to the show. It's uh, Bernard Manning here covering in for Gareth. Yeah. Les Dawson as well will be with you later. It sounds so... like you hang around in bus stops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 3.30 is a bit late today. <laughs> 53p from here to Stockport. You must be joking. Um, oh, they anyway... were the good old days. <laughs> they were the good old days. <laughs> Uh, text in uh, when do you remember a bus journey being 32p um, yeah. when do you remember gas and electric not costing more than your mortgage like it's ridiculous <laughs> it's ridiculous we could talk for ages um, yeah wait, sorry do you, do you want to play a song and then I'll say Marmaduke and Lisa and <laughs> absolutely Brenda. yeah 
Get in with the format there, Mark. Excellent. We'll be back in just a moment. Just having an interesting chat then. Um, it was almost like a, a bit of a sales pitch uh, to Mark there. Uh, we were just talking about what the radio station does and what we're trying to achieve. And Mark is our official station voice. And a lot of people, I mean, there's loads of words here, but um, a lot of people asking as well, you know, is this your full-time job? Do you basically record your voice for a living? Yeah, yeah, it, yes. This is essentially my is 80 percent of my earnings yeah and you presumably i mean i know how this works but other people may not so you will get clients who'll say look we need this advert doing we want you to be the voice of our radio station then you go into your studio you voice it and you send it over to them and that's yeah. it isn't it really pretty much like the only difference is some some people like it recorded and in you know and you know they trust me with direction because i've been doing it for a while and then you know other people like to be there so they can hear it and i don't mean actually in the studio so and there's loads of ways you know that can be the case that can be just on a mobile phone if they've got no technology skype you know those which we're doing you know this type of thing on um yeah, that may. And it's great, actually. Send me through some lines, go, we do these at some point today. And then at some <laughs> point that day, I do them and send them back. And I get the privilege to invoice for it as well. So, um, A message in from Eric, and he said, uh, could you ask Mark, please, to uh, pretend, he's, he, <laughs> pretend he's ordering a pizza in his radio voice? Up for that one, Mark? Yeah, sure. <laughs> as in as in, in my radio imaging boys i was there about yes, to please. do a yes, cheesy yeah, yeah. radio presenter then okay oh uh, either or both Hi. Be fine please can i have a ham and pepperoni pizza 13.5 inches make it thick and fat and fast <laughs> and another one here um lucy allison's uh could you please ask mark uh to say my name in um, a rather romantic way lucy allison's she's what's up when the sun goes down <laughs> <laughs> I love that all these small sort of throwaway lines, you've got them down to a T because you've it's funny. It's so like it's just many years, times. It's years of muscle memory. <laughs> <laughs> um, another one here. Um, Andy said, um, could you please ask Mark um, <laughs> to do um, a voiceover uh, for me and my family? Uh, we are called the Smith family and we live in Birmingham. The Smith family from Birmingham? Yes. Okay. Hello to the Smith family. I'm doing, I'm doing it more friendly now, opposed to sort yeah, of... Yeah, that's okay, yeah. There. That'll do. So i just say hi to them. Well, um, if you can do... Um, one I've got like the you... Smith... You know, like the Von Trapps, like the <laughs> Smith family singers. <laughs> if you can do one, which is your radio imaging voice, and then yeah. one, uh, which is based uh, on my creepy phone call voice, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hello to the Smith family. I don't know if that was your creepy voice or my radio voice. Yeah, it's, it's sort of <laughs> merging over, isn't it now? It's almost like a sort of uh, hybrid now. Hybrid, the hybrid. The Smith family singers have thrown me. <laughs> I like the fact that now I've almost um, influenced your radio voice. And every time you do it now, you'll be thinking, I hope that's not too creepy phone call-esque. Yeah, you've left your signature. Now, when you hear my, my, my me doing Connect stuff in the future, you'll be like, I influenced that. <laughs> and the last one here, uh, could you give... Um, well, uh, could you do a quick voiceover recording here, it says, for um, Alex Adar, who's currently listening in Portsmouth. Alex Adar. Alex Adar. I'll do my, I'll do my terrible Peter Dixon impression for that. Here we go. <clears throat> it's time to face the music. Alex, I always need to go, do you remember, do you remember the character? Stacey Solomon. Yes. Remember, remember, I was used to go I, when I was learning how to do it, and I can't really do it, but I was learning how to do it, and I was there going, <clears throat> Stacey.
Stacy Solomon, Rachel Adadeji. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was always the weird, weird names I can remember. So yeah, Absolutely. so what, what was that person's name again? I've no idea. I've completely forgotten, Mark, but <laughs> never mind. Um, it was Alex, I think. Alex, uh, yeah. Alex, Alex, yes, you, listening to the radio. Don't touch that dial. You don't know where it's been. <laughs> Mark, thank you so much. It You're welcome, is, um, a real joy to have you on. And what a skill you've got just to make us laugh by basically saying a few lines like that. No, man. Skill. I, I always think it's fascinating how people find it entertaining, actually. Like, it's, it's bizarre to me, I like, think in a it's way. because we only ever hear voiceovers doing sort of like what you would expect so on an advert it's like you know um buy one get one free that kind of <laughs> yeah. thing but the fact that you do everyday things in that voice is incredible like ordering an uber yeah hint, hint. how yeah. would you order an uber mark hello taxi to dromfield please <laughs> people would genuinely think it's some weird advert that they're being played down the phone. <laughs> no, the amount of times I've actually called a place where I'm the on hold voice and got through and then just been speaking to them and then we go like, are you, are you trolling me? Are you trolling me? <laughs> I'm sure you're the voice of our phone systems. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I would like a voiceover to connect Radio Alley. Yeah. Stopping at good tunes and all right entertainment. Yeah. There's that dirty phone call again. That's that dirty um, phone call voice. <laughs> it sneaks in anywhere it's I go. It's all right, though. It's your birthday. You can get away with it. <laughs> Mark, genuinely, thank you so much. And I know that uh, you do us um, a real good uh, decent price on all the voiceovers that you do for us. So thank you because you're such a skilled man and the jingles because of your voice sound truly brilliant. So thank well, you. Well, you guys are connected with the Holy Father. So if I wasn't to do you a decent deal, I would get scolded for it. So, you know. The Holy Father. The Holy Father. Connect Radio. Yeah. With the man who has a voice on loan from God himself. <laughs> <laughs> on loan. That's not blasphemy, is it? I'm all right. I no, think it's I'm fine. Right it's fine. On, on loan. <laughs> on loan. Um, <laughs> on loan. On digital. And on yeah. 88 to 91 FM. This. 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 <laughs> Mark, thank you very, very much, mate. You're welcome, uh, man. You have a fantastic day. And you. Um, and uh, the next time uh, we need some jingles, we'll be in touch. Uh, the next time uh, Connect needs some uh, rumbling voice down the speakers, you'll yes. know who it is. It's Mark. Marvellous. Yes, marvellous. Well, I look forward to hearing from you again. So I can <laughs> charge you rock bottom prices and make nothing. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's all right. The father has my back. Take you, care, guys. You take care. Thank Happy you. birthday.